Let's talk about the new features coming in iOS 15.1. Welcome everybody to Apple Insider. It is Andrew here, and Apple has just released the first developer beta of iOS 15.1, iPadOS 15.1, TVS 15.1. We also got the seventh beta of Monterey and a new beta for Apple Watch. So lots of updates coming around. In this video, I'm gonna walk you through what's new, and there are two big changes that I'm excited to talk about in this video. So let's just go ahead and dive in. The first big change coming with all of these updates is that SharePlay is returning. SharePlay is a big new feature that was supposed to debut with iOS 15 and the rest of them, but Apple delayed the future for just a bit longer to make sure the experience was right. It allows you to do things together, basically watch videos over FaceTime together, play games together, uh, share your screen together, all this great immersive stuff that is perfect for the pandemic era that we are still currently living in. So with the new betas, with the new 15.1 betas, it looks like Apple is going to be bringing this feature back, getting it ready for release with 15.1 later this fall and probably coinciding with the launch of macOS Monterey. The second big feature coming with 15.1 is these verifiable vaccine records. These can be added to the health app just by scanning a QR code. They can also be pulled in from any organization that supports these smart verification records that are able to be added to the health app. And then certain ones like your COVID vaccine will then be able to be added to wallet. This is extremely handy to provide proof of your vaccination status. If you're going to a concert, boarding a plane, anything where you need to require proof of your vaccine, you'll now be able to provide a verifiable card in your wallet. Now, again, not everything is already supporting this. For me, uh, my vaccine that I have in the health app, it is not allowing me to pull that into the wallet app. So it has to come from certain organizations that are meeting certain standards, but more organizations will likely be supporting this so that users will be able to pull their vaccination status right there into wallet. Vaccine cards will be joining a bunch of other features that have already come to Wallet. We're now getting the ability to add our home keys into Wallet. Our car keys are already in Wallet. We'll soon be able to add our IDs and driver's licenses to Wallet. Lots of stuff is coming to the Wallet app. It is becoming increasingly powerful and more and more vital to just our daily lives. So that is it. Those are the big features coming here in iOS 15.1 that we saw here in the first beta, as well as with macOS Monterey, the return of SharePlay, vaccination cards coming to Wallet and verifiable vaccinations coming to the health app in general. It is all pretty exciting and I'm hoping there's other changes that Apple has in store for us with the launch of 15.1, which should be coming later this fall. If you have found any other changes in 15.1, iPad OS 15.1, or any of the other updates, please, please, please let me know over on Twitter at Andrew underscore OSU. And stay tuned, we'll have full coverage of iOS 15.1 when it is officially released.